Uh, my name is Anna Maria Topan. Um, I'm a PhD researcher in sociology. Uh, I'm currently doing research at the University of Innsbruck in Austria. Uh, and my topic is the journey the refugee take um, from their country of origin to the country of destination. The focus on how, how the journey um, transforms subjectivities and what kind of challenges it brings. My research focuses on, on the journey of the refugees, which is a subject sort of under-researched because the approaches are most of them nation-wide nation or international relations. But um, that's why I, I decided to, to have this sp special approach uh, because um, I wanted to focus on the voices of the refugees, on their experiences on what kind of uh, resources um, they develop during the journey and what can uh, they bring to the country of destination. Mm, the methodologies that I use were um, interviews with refugees from reception centers in Munich, expert interviews with international organizations uh, like UNHCR or Habitat for Humanity, also expert interviews with um, representatives from the government, from the federal government of Germany on migration and uh, refugees and also on the Bavarian um, government of migration and refugees. And also reports from international organizations, uh, discourse analysis on media and social media articles. My main mi discovery was that um, the agency of the refugees is crucial. They are not merely pawns in a political game between European states or uh, Middle East. They have uh, managed to go through a life-threatening situation. They have managed to take, the, take their um, destiny in their own hands. To, to be resourceful, to be in, uh, innovative, and that brings a huge asset to the communities that, that will welcome them, and also to, to, the, to the loved ones at home once they return. Uh, impact um, means um, a lot of things, but I think the communication is very important. Communication was um, was defined as um, uh, human rights by the by the Convention of Human Rights by the UN Convention, and uh, during uh, my research, I discovered that these human rights should be um, leveled at the same um, weight with uh, the right for shelter, the right for food, the right for uh, humanitarian assistance. And um, people say so that there, there is a mediatic um, consensus that uh, regarding the refugee crisis that communication uh, was um, was beneficial. Um, the communication was something to be desired. But I think we have passed that moment. Communication is needed. Communication is a necessity and it should be provided for. And it, because it's a life-changing uh, matter. More visibility, the, in, the access to internet, uh, the, the possibility to use social platforms like Facebook or WhatsApp gave, uh, gave the refugees um, a huge visibility globally. So that in turn led to a, to a debate, to a, to a, a solidarity movement like um, Refugees Welcome in Germany and also what is taking place now in Greece. Um, but this visibility um, uh, made possible by, by the use of technology um, is necessary because it brings out a debate between users uh, and that shifts the debate from the top to the bottom, to the bottom, to the to the level of the citizens, because the debate, especially in Germany, uh, around uh, refugees and migrants, is very uh, instrumentalized. 
by political actors, which they don't hesitate to capitalize on fears of foreigners. So um, having a large debate among the public um, it doesn't matter uh, which side they take. Uh, it's a healthy, it's a healthy component of a functioning democracy. I was very motivated to take part in the conference because, um, as I point out during my research, I discovered the huge importance of, of technology in, in in saving lives ultimately and uh, I was interesting to uh, to find out different approaches, uh, different experiences that would help me uh, develop the subject further, understand it and maybe uh, receiving tools to to use it in my research. <laughs>